What's up, y'all? Eric Johnson once again with another video coming back with y'all live. Um, just doing a quick video. Um, got a CD in the mail I've been wanting to get for a long time. Psychopathic Records, um, artist, well, former Psychopathic Records artist. Um, that motherfucker, anybody killer, Hatchet Warrior, came out in 2003. First time I heard this album, it fucking blew my mind. It's dark. Like, the, he's on point with his rhymes and shit. I mean, you had Violent J on here, Blaze Your Dead Homie. He had all types of uh, artists on here and stuff. I had to go back and look at the, the uh, featured guests, like all of them and stuff. Uh, one of the songs that is playing now is While You Sleeping, one of one of my favorite tracks off the album. Uh, this is a fire mic album, in my opinion. You know, spitting that wicked shit coming from a... Coming from a, um, I wouldn't say a native perspective because he's Native American, but it, it's just a mixture of Native American stuff and, you know, the wicked shit, you know, out of the psychopathic, um, army and stuff. Um, shout out to that boy, um, Mike Sears from the Speaky Clock Podcast, um, Beneath the Dirt. You know, check his YouTube channel out there, um, the more... They got more information on the the wicked shit. I'm a I'm just a new beginner of it. Just starting to get into the world of the dark carnival, you know, with uh insane insane clown posse, you know, fucking twisted their fire ass albums and stuff. Um, I don't got all six Joker cards. I don't think. I got Carnival of Carnage, Ringmaster, Riddle Box, The Great Malenko. The Amazing Jekyll Brothers. I think I got the first six Joker cards, and I got um. I think the only Joker's card out of the second deck I got is the Marvelous Mr. Link Lost, and I need to get the found one. I know a lot of people don't like that album. But yeah, they hollow point plan. Yo, man, this my shit, man. This straight up. When you hit, when you hit that, man, you want to murder a motherfucker. Yeah, like, I want to go to the swim range and just shoot my guns to this damn song, man. This shit fire as hell. You got, um, you got the, um, Duke of the Darkness. You got Violet J on the hook and shit. You know, just spitting it. Fire ass beat. Just a, just a perfect ass album. Like, if you, if you're not with the, um, if you ain't listened to like the same clown posse before, listen to this album and listen to a lot of other psychopathic um records albums and stuff. Oh yeah, check out their um the psychopathic riders. Like them albums are fucking fire, man. Like riding dirty, um duck the fuck down, eat shit and die. Like all them albums fire as fuck, man. Woo! That's it, fire, man. That's 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 real shit right there, man. Fuck all this mumble mumble rapping shit out here right about now, man. Y'all need to listen to this shit, man. Anybody killer, man. This shit, this fucking album's fire as fuck, man. So y'all the back cover. All right, we got 15 tracks on the album. I like the I like the album cover too. You see him in the sky, sky throwing up that shit. Um, got the little Native American, um, like, you know the little signals and stuff. I like the paint. I like how all of them got different uh, paint designs and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to get this album. I've been I've been meaning to get it for a, a long time, but you know I've been buying other CDs and cassette tapes and vinyls and stuff. Um, I was thinking about I'm, I'm trying to see which which album I'm gonna get next because with those Psychopathic Riders albums, I probably have to get them at one at a time and stuff because they're expensive and stuff. So I'll probably start off with um either Riding Dirty or 
probably um, eat shit and die or duck the fuck down. I'm gonna probably start off with those and stuff, so yeah. Oh yeah, um Facts about this album and stuff too. Um the last the last track in the city that was a cover of um of Joe Watt of Washes it Wash I think I'm saying his name right or wrong or not correct me in the comment section. Joe Washes um in the city that was on the um movie The Warriors. And it was on the movie The Warriors which came out in I think nineteen seventy nine. If y'all ain't looked at the movie The Warriors, go check that out. A classic movie showing all the different gangs in New York City at that time and stuff. You know, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play a little bit of the um, co the uh, cover that ABK did in the city. It's the same instrumental, but it's just different. You know, the same beat and stuff. I think they did a little bit of tweaks to it and stuff. Turn up the volume a little bit for y'all. Sorry about that, I just had to hit that for a minute, man. That's a really fire ass song, man. Like, if you ain't seen the end of the um, Warriors movie, they, they playing that song at the end and stuff after they um, found out that Luther of the other gang uh, set up the Warriors and shit. They thought, they, they thought the Warriors killed Cyrus and stuff because they got rid of Leon, who was the leader of the Warriors and shit at the beginning of the movie when they was all at the big um, gang meeting and stuff with all the gangs in the city and stuff. You know, so yeah. If, if y'all um know that scene out of the Warriors movie, and y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all don't look at the movie, then y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this um that's a perfect song to end the damn album and stuff. Give the album a chance. It's really good. Hatchet Warrior by that boy ABK. Um, released in 2003. Um, get it while you can. I got it off eBay. I paid um I think like $17 for it. So. You know, when it comes to like psychopathic records, um, CDs and stuff, cause they're independent company, they're independent label and shit and stuff. So, um, it might be up, it might be going up in price and stuff. It, it probably depends on like the seller and stuff. Um, uh, check it out if you want to buy it on on eBay or Discogs or something. But if you got any other places y'all can get the album from, um, get it while you can and check out my homeboy, homeboys Mike Sears, uh, Speak Your Clout podcast check out his channel and put in like um insane clown posse then put in speak your clout he got a lot of videos on about the wicked clowns and stuff twisted you know all the other people that came out of that label and different shit and oh yeah for a, a fire ass album check out esom's booming w words from hell 1990 man i want that album so fucking bad it's so expensive though so uh, I'm probably I'm probably end up getting it on CD or cassette because you know I collect cassette tapes too on my second channel Eric Johnson's cassette tape collection. But you know I'm gonna end up getting it on CD and stuff. Then probably doing a showing on it on um, one of these days and shit. You know so yeah. Check out Esham's Booming Words from Hell. Look at, look the album up on YouTube and check that out and tell me what what y'all think about it. It's a classic album, underground album from the um boy Esham the uh, holy one you know this all I want to show y'all you know anybody killer hatchet warrior released in 2003 like share comment subscribe leave me some um leave me some extra information on the album for all my wicked motherfuckers out of there all my juggalos and my juggalette bitches too you know all my dudes they like the wicked shit they like the um stay in the darkness you know 
This a perfect album, man. That's all I want to show y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, check the description box for um all the information in the um you know the, the description area and stuff on all my videos and stuff. And thanks for watching. Peace.